Now is Congressman Adam Schiff, Democrat of California, who's calling for an investigation into the IRS to encompass both the Obama administration and the previous administration. Congressman Schiff, thank you very much for being with us tonight. Good to be with you, Rachel. So uh, one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you tonight is not just because of what you're calling for in response to this current scandal, but also the way you've responded when a, a liberal church in your district uh, with a, uh, where an anti-war sermon had been given around the time of the 04 election, they got what they perceived to be a harassing letter from the IRS. How did you view that at the time, and what happened when you contacted the IRS on their behalf? At the time, was uh, here was a progressive church uh, that invited a former pastor in to give a, a sermon on uh, war issues. And got more than a letter from the IRS. They got a full audit, a very expensive, lengthy audit by the IRS. And this was at the same time, Rachel, when other very prominent churches were denying communion to Democratic candidates close to the election uh, in a way that, to me, telegraphed much more who they thought uh, ought to be the, the winners of the vote uh, of their congregation, much more than anything was said in this uh, progressive Pasadena congregation. So it made me wonder whether the IRS was selectively enforcing and auditing churches based on their message uh, during the Bush administration. I raised this issue along with one of my Republican and Libertarian colleagues with the IRS. I sat down with the commissioner. Uh, we wrote to the GAO to look into this to figure out were they being even-handed? Were they targeting just the progressive churches? Uh, and basically, Rachel, I got nowhere. Uh, the IRS wasn't willing to divulge any information, even in very generic form. How many churches were they auditing? What were the results of those audits? Even the things that wouldn't give away any information about particular taxpayers but they weren't willing to be forthcoming. Uh, and it makes me wonder whether this is a more systemic problem that uh, was in the past uh, administration and also in the present administration. How do you think that we should go about finding, how do, how do you intend to go about finding as a member of Congress, uh, finding out if the IRS is just uh, screwing up or if they are grinding a political ax? What thread do you pull in order to find that out? Well, it looks like the Inspector General has done some pretty good work, and it may be that we'll want to ask the Inspector General uh, to broaden the investigation that they're doing. And certainly when the House Oversight Committees uh, look at the Inspector General report, I think it may be worthwhile for them to look more broadly at just the current allegations. But I think you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, this is a flawed system to begin with. Uh, many of these social welfare organizations are uh, But to the degree that this is the current law, we have to make sure we have an IRS that uh, that administers that law very even-handedly in a politically neutral way. Uh, at the same time, I'd love us to see, uh, to, to see Congress take action in doing away with this anonymous uh, capability to donate to these organizations. I think that would diminish the problem very considerably. In terms of the social welfare groups and in terms of the, uh, e the even-handed application of this sham part of the tax code, which is an awkward thing, uh, is there a possibility that at the end of the day here, what we're going to end up with is an IRS that has been embarrassed by either screwing up or making a very bad judgment call here? And they're going to be more shy than they already are from rightfully investigating groups that are abusing the 501c4 status. Should, should that just be changed, I mean, if Congress can or by some other means, so that there isn't such a temptation with that, uh, with that part of the tax code? Uh, Rachel, you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the downside of all of this is going to be that the IRS is going to be even that much more reluctant uh, to wade into this to investigate any group for fear of uh, claim of bias. But we really need the IRS to be aggressive here because these provisions are being distorted beyond any recognition of what they used to be about. I mean, social welfare organizations used to actually be about social welfare and not just for people in swing states or swing districts around election time. Uh, so we've gotten very far afield of the original purpose of this code section, uh, and I think Congress ought to move to uh, either repeal it or at least require disclosure to take away the incentive for these massive organizations to be funneling anonymous contributions. The worst thing that would come out of this, though, I think is exactly what you're saying, and that is even more freedom for abuse for these 501c4s. Congressman Adam Schiff, Democrat of California, thank you for helping us through this tonight, sir.